An automated external defibrillator is a life-saving piece of equipment for use on casualties suffering from a cardiac arrest. They are simple but extremely effective pieces of life-saving equipment. AEDs are designed to detect cardiac arrhythmias, electrical activity in the heart, which are life-threatening. Analyzing. Only if the AED detects there is a life-threatening arrhythmia will it allow a shock to be delivered. Shock advised. Stay clear of patient. Press the flashing orange button now. Shock delivered. An AED will not allow a defibrillation shock to be delivered to a casualty who does not require one. AEDs provide clear step-by-step -step guidance on how the defibrillator should be used, instructing the user through the process of preparing the casualty for defibrillation, applying the electrode pads and delivering the defibrillation shock. In the year ending March 2014, there were more than 28,000 out-of-hospital cardiac arrests. Survival rates for out-of-hospital cardiac arrests are dependent on a number of factors, including the presence of bystanders, time to arrival of the emergency services, prompt CPR and early defibrillation. The British Heart Foundation states that following a cardiac arrest, every minute that passes without the casualty receiving CPR and defibrillation, their chance of survival is reduced by 10%. Having a defibrillator on site, whether it be a workplace, school, university or any public building, means that life-saving treatment can be given to a casualty immediately, therefore dramatically increasing the chances of survival from a cardiac arrest. Despite being a medical device, AEDs are specifically designed to be used by persons that have not received medical training. Because of this, they are an ideal piece of equipment to have in workplaces, schools, universities and all public spaces. By providing clear guidance for a user and only allowing a shock to be delivered if required, AEDs provide essential life-saving treatment and their immediate use whilst awaiting for the emergency services to arrive significantly increase the chances of a casualty recovering from a cardiac arrest. Although not legally required, defibrillator training is available. Training will help to increase people's confidence in using a defibrillator and performing life-saving treatment by providing delegates with practical experience. Training can include how to recognise symptoms, steps to using an AED, legal aspects of defibrillation, basic life support and practical training with a defibrillator. Defibrillator training can help answer common questions like can I use a defibrillator on someone who is pregnant? Can I use a defibrillator in a wet environment? Can I cause someone harm by performing defibrillation on a casualty? AEDs are available in two forms, semi-automatic and fully automatic. The semi-automatic models will inform the user if a shock is required and will instruct the user to press a shock button on the defibrillator. Fully automatic models, however, do not require a button to be pressed. Upon identifying the need for a shock, the AED will itself deliver the shock. Both types of AED will only allow a shock to be delivered if one is required. AEDs do not require much maintenance following their purchase. Most perform regular self-checks alerting you if there are any issues with the unit, including low battery or if the electrodes need replacing. It is recommended to always have two sets of electrodes available at any time, in case of there being more than one casualty at a time or there is a delay in ordering a new set of electrodes following their use. Electrodes and batteries will always have a clear expiry date printed onto them. AEDs can be stored in wall brackets or cabinets to ensure they are kept safe and secure from potential damage and are easy to find in the event of an emergency. The wall cabinet has a clear door that enables visual inspection of an AED without having to open the cabinet. A range of supporting signage is available to help increase the visibility of an AED and help direct a user to their trained colleagues. There are also signs available to help direct people to where an AED is stored. Posters are available to help increase people's knowledge and confidence in using an AED in an emergency situation. Posters include information about what an AED is, who can use it, how they work, when to use them and step-by-step -step instructions. Also available is a poster providing clear and detailed step-by-step -step instructions on providing CPR and defibrillation to a casualty. AED responder kits contain useful accessories for providing CPR and defibrillation to a casualty. 
The AED Responder Kit includes a reusable resuscitation mask to prevent cross-infection during CPR, a disposable razor to remove excess chest hair to enable electrodes to have a good connection with the chest, a pair of clothing cutters to enable access to the patient's chest, moist wipes, a foil blanket and nitrile gloves. With clear statistics showing the increase in chance of a casualty surviving a cardiac arrest if they receive defibrillation, a defibrillator is a low-cost, high-value, life-saving solution.